Well, it got weird on Thursday night. Um, I know I'm very late on this, but you know we gotta get something out tonight. Gotta get something out on this night as Baker Mayfield led the Rams back against the Raiders in a game that mirrored the Monday night game. I mean, the Rams were down, but you know this Raiders defense is awful. Very awful, in fact. But it's okay. It's okay. Neither of these teams look like they're going anywhere. You know, especially, you know, with the way the Rams drop the Raiders. You know, that's gonna... That might help something. You know, I believe that'll help some draft picks out. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, but the rest of the slate... Looks interesting. You got Buffalo with the Jets. You know... A shame that, you know, a lot of markets aren't going to see this game. They have to either pirate it or get that uh, the NFL Sunday ticket or NFL Plus or whatever. Josh Allen versus Mike White. You know, it's it's going to be it's gonna be interesting. Because, again, the Bills, they've been playing. They've been playing all right lately. Jets been playing all right lately, too. You know, both teams in the thick of things. Bills trying to... You know, keep themselves at the top of the AFC. Jets trying to get themselves in the hunt. You know, maybe for a potential AFC East title. You know, that that you know that could be uh, something to watch. You know, over the next you know few weeks. Because again, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, intriguing, beyond interesting to see how you know how these two teams are going to you know figure it out at the end of the day because you know these offenses you know Bill's offense definitely better but again we'll find out Bengals Browns is going to be interesting we don't know we we don't know what in the world we're going to get with the Sean Watson playing quarterback I mean, it wasn't great last week, but the Browns got the win, but now, now, Burrow, Mixon, Higgins, Chase, Zach Taylor's crew, oh boy, they, they looking for, they looking to beat up on the Browns. You know, this could be, this could be something, you know, in which the Browns are going to have to prove themselves, you know, you know, is making Deshaun Watson the guy really the good idea is that really the answer we'll see and then the Cowboys and the Texans don't know why most of the country is watching this you know well at least a good chunk of the country I'm gonna be watching this game at least in the early window I don't know why Davis Mills is starting at quarterback again I don't know why but it's okay you know it's okay you know the Cowboys are just gonna It's just gonna walk by and you know get past the Texas real easy. I expect that. I think we all expect that. Ninety-five percent, you know, of you know people say, "Hey, Cowboys are winning this game on their defense." I mean, the Texans are that terrible. They're pretty bad. Lions Vikings is looking pretty interesting though. You know, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be. It's going to be interesting to see what the Vikings can do, you know, because Jared Goff and company have been playing some good football lately. You know, sometimes it's been real defensive struggles, sometimes it's been high scoring affairs, sometimes, you know, it's come down to the last few seconds of the game, and sometimes that defense just hasn't been there. You never know what you get with the Lions. But this is a team, yeah, they're five and seven, but they could give anybody fits. And the icy one, Kirk Cousins and company, need to need to keep their heads on a swivel here. They gotta make it a good game. Giants Eagles gonna be good, man. You know. You know, Saquon. Company are gonna, you know, they're gonna have to do something. Daniel Jones gonna have to do something. 
I mean, can you trust these Colts? Uh, not Colts. Forget about the Colts. Can you trust these Giants wide receivers right now? Especially against James Bradbury and Darius Slay. Can you trust them? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if the Giants can pull it off against the Eagles. You know, because that one's going to be interesting. Uh, you know, that, that Giants defense is strong, though. That, that Giants defense is real strong. So, that's going to be it's gonna be something. Tyler Huntley gets the start for the Ravens against the Steelers. Um, Steelers have also improved lately. So, you know, it, it's going to be, it's going to be something. It's going to be some kind of game between these two. Kenny Pickett, you know, he doesn't have to just use Najee Harris. He can use his wide receivers and stuff like that. You know, the Ravens, it's going to be, it's going to be intriguing to see what the Ravens can do. Can, can they stay... Can they stay on the field long enough against the Steelers defense? That's gonna be it's gonna be one factor in this game. Titans Jags gonna be another game that's gonna be interesting. You know, uh, I don't know what 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 else is there to say about Trevor Lawrence and the Jags that has not been said. They 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 get they get some good wins. Then you know. It's the same old Jags at times. Then you have Ryan Tannehill, you know, and the Titans just kind of middling their way through, but yet they're atop the AFC South for a reason. Chiefs Broncos now in my area, in Tejas, getting this game. Why? Patrick Mahomes is going to be angry. He's angry. He and the rest of the Chiefs, oh, you think. I think Mahomes is angry. Boy, I bet you Travis Kelsey's angry. Just this, this Broncos team is just not, it's just not it. It's so slow, boring. Why? Why did we get put up to this, man? And then Seahawks Panthers is going to be intriguing as well, you know. Again. You know, Jeremy Chin, J.C. Horn on the defense for the Panthers. Uh, you know, Seahawks, though, they still have Geno Smith. You know, you know, driving the ship here, driving, flying the Seahawks to greater heights. And the Panthers, I don't know what they have right now. I mean. At least it's the NFC South, so the Panthers can still win that division. And in the game that somehow has become more intriguing, you know, the 49ers, they call the Buccaneers, Buccaneers, you know, made it intriguing, you know, firstly by getting back the 500. 49ers have made it intriguing by having Brock Purdy be the guy since Jimmy G is no longer going to be the quarterback in his injury for the rest of the year at least. And we'll see, you know, if the 49ers can just keep the momentum going. Like they had last week, the defense was on fire, the offense was playing good. And this is a Bucks offense that, again, barely got by the Saints. Just barely. Dolphins charges interesting. Tua versus Justin Herbert. We'll see if we'll see if guys like Teron Armstead or Mike Williams return. But you know, the supporting talent on both sides is going to be interesting. You got Austin Eckler on one side for the charges. You have Waddle, and, and, you know, with the Cheetah, you know, on the other side for the Dolphins. And, there, there's just there's just so much intrigue and it mainly comes down to the Chargers defense really you know yeah Miami's defense has been you know at times you know kind of uh, 
But other times, you know, they've been, they've been looking pretty good. Chargers defense, on the other hand, oh, no, no, no. This is not how we play defense here in the NFL. You know, got to improve that. So, you know, it's up to the Chargers to figure it all out. And then the Patriots, Cardinals to somehow... Somehow end the week 14 slate. Bill Belichick and the Patriots, who are, you know, somehow still in this thing as far as playoffs are concerned. You know, they're a distant fourth in the AFC East right now, but at least they're not the Cardinals, who have so many problems that it's not even funny. Because, I mean, Arizona just is, it's its not even a good team right now. Yes, they're 4-8. Yes, they've won some games this year, you know, but come on. That's all I got. Excuse me.